Okay, so assuming you don't have a compound miter saw, we're going to use a miter box. Now, everybody should have a miter box. This is like really, really basic stuff. I had one when I was five years old. This is how you make, you know, frames, moldings, do, um, you know, small projects around the house because you can accurately cut a 45 degree angle without any kind of fancy equipment. All right, so the way you do the, the 245s, which is what you're going to cut, is you cut one side, right? You'll just place it in your miter box, and you'll, I'll show you how to do it in a second. You'll cut it, and then from this side, all right, you'll cut it all the way towards the end. You're going to measure. Remember we said we're going to measure 9 inches? So I'm just going to go ahead and measure 9 inches. This is the same way you make a picture frame. All right, so I'm just going to go ahead and measure 9 inches, make a mark right on top. And that's going to be my total length. Now to get that 45, again, it's going to be two 45s. I'm going to just transfer that over to the side. And then I'm just going to give a rough mark, sort of feigning that 45. This, this is not going to be my exact 45, but this is going to be my total length. All right, so now when I place this into my miter box, I want to make sure that that line, that total line, is on the inside of the miter cut. I'm going to show you why. I'm going to have to bring that camera over the other side. Sorry for my head, guys. I want to show you this. When I place my saw in the miter box, okay, you see that line? All right, let me tilt it up. You see that line? You want to make sure that you account for the, for the depth on the saw itself. All right, let me make a little mark and show you. And you can test it. See, I'm a little bit long there. I want to bring it in a little bit. I always test it. See, that's right on the money now. And then I would just use this miter box as a guide. I don't have this secured. I'm just using it to show you. But now I know I've got my total 9 inch length. Okay, right to the end. Another way you can, once you get one cut, like say this one's already been cut, you can use this to transfer that line. So I'm going to put it flush, make sure that I'm flush against the back side and the front side. Right, and then I'm going to go ahead and make my line. That's my exact 45. All right. With that 45, I, mean, I go ahead and cut this without the miter box because it would be perfect straight down. But a miter box will keep it nice and straight as you go. So I definitely recommend it. Again, keep that line lined up with the inside, not the outside. That would make it too short. You'd cut it, you'd end up cutting it too short. So it's here. All right? That's how you get your 45s. So, all right, now we've got the bracket made. You know how to make the bracket. Once the bracket is made, we're gonna go ahead and hang it. Now, I already have one over there. Let's kind of come walk over here and let me show them what we did here. I've just got one screw. Now, I'm using uh, drywall screws. I'm using coarse drywall screws. Okay, that's an inch and a quarter drywall screw. And then I'm going to use a 7 8 inch. I have a uh, decking screw that I'm using for the top. You want to make sure that your screw does not go all the way through uh, the board that you're screwing into on the bottom. You don't want this sticking out on the bottom for two reasons. One, it's obviously dangerous. And the second reason is that it actually makes it weaker. You, you want it to stay embedded in the wood, all right? Which is another point. I'm going to, show, I'm going to go ahead and screw this shelf on top here. You don't need to drill a pilot hole with these kind of screws. Just going to give it a little bit of a push. Now I want you to watch. I'm going to screw it down. And I'm going to set the screw. The screw is underneath the wood. I can't feel the screw when I do this. All right, I've seen people try to make that screw perfectly flush with the top, and that, that's not the way to do it. You want it to go into the wood. You want to embed it. That'll really cinch it in nice and tight. Always make sure these are square. All right, now to get it level, I've already got this one up. Let me put one more screw in up here now. I'm using a little longer screw up here because I don't have to worry about it coming out. I'm just going to put a little bit of angle. And again, just sink it in there. Don't worry about that splitting sound. It's not splitting. It's just sinking into the wood. All right, now to get this level, this is a very simple, quick farmer's technique that I use. All right, you're going to go ahead and put your top board on. I've already cut these for you, make it easy, all right? And then I cut a piece of one by two, nine inches, which is the same width as this, all right? So what I'm gonna do now is take my level, 
place it on top and make sure, and I'm perfectly level right there already. I've been doing this a long time. <laughs> Gotta get those things. All right, now I'm gonna level it this way to make sure that I'm okay. Now this way I need to come up in the front a little bit. So I'm gonna push this front up. All right, now I'm dead on accurate. Now, the best thing to do right here is to take a pencil. I don't have them with me, so I'm gonna use a screw. It's another technique I use. Just make a mark. Okay, this way I won't lose that level. I'll call it losing the level. You know, as you're working, things start to shift and move. At least I know that, that that's my line. And I'm gonna go ahead and do the same thing. My screw. Not too close to the end, so you don't split the wood. And then just put it in. Once I get that first screw in, I can double check my level and make sure I'm good again. That's good. All right, the back end's gotta come down just a hair. And with one screw in there, it's easy to do it. That's perfect. I'll put my other screw in. And that's it. Now, again, I'm gonna go ahead and secure this at the top. Now, you'll notice if you come over here, this is not real square. It's just not real, you know, I do better craftsmanship. So we're just gonna move that in so that we're square. See that? And then I'll put my screw in the top. Nice and flush. Good. Now just put four more in. And then I'll put my other bracket right in the middle. And these are really solid shelves. I already paid for the wood. It's just scraps I had laying around, so it didn't cost me anything extra. And I keep my workshop nice and neat, or as, at least as neat as I possibly can, the amount of work I do here. All right, so to the next project, get going on some shelves.